What's up guys, Dallas here and today, like I said in the previous video, I am going to show you guys how to clear U2 level 30. In my opinion, U2 level 30 for patch 1.2 is really a lot easier than the previous one. So if we can just go through my setup, I have Beacorn and then Lee, uh, Centurion and Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy I think is really, really needed. If you don't have Tooth Fairy, I think two healers would do the job. Also, Centurion and NN Lee are... I don't know. You only need a strong plant DPS if you have it. Or if you don't have a plant DPS, just something that star that you're not weak to. Uh, so if we go down the line with the fame cards that I am using, on Beacorn or on your primary DPS, you're just gonna have uh, what lightning is to the Tempest is really good. So this increases uh, critical rate, critical damage by three percent whenever she takes action. Also, multilinguist. If you have a star or a fra or a fame card, would be good. So after taking actions, damage dealt increased by three percent. This is just to constantly buff your main DPS. So constantly use the abilities that this this guy had. I would <clears throat> recommend to have a DPS that does single target damage ultimates. That's why I didn't have a Centurion on this spot. So I just had the Beacorn because a lot most of the damage that comes out is through ultimates. On my Ann and Lee, I just have damage taken reduction because I want her to survive for a longer and this second part is the most important when entering battle and at the start of the every second round activates Ghost Radar Detector White Lily Plant reducing all damage dealt by enemies by 20% and increasing damage they take by 20% less one round. This is really good to get some damage in at certain points of the fight. So I think this is just a passive one that you can have. It can be switched around, it's not necessary, but you know. And the one that I have is um, the Listener Orange for the damage taken reduction as well, but more or less for the second one here. After casting an ultimate, the leftmost character gains two moxie. So as you can see later on as well, I'm just funneling all of the moxie into Beacorn. So after she uses an ultimate, Beacorn gains two moxie and she can use her ultimate again. But do know that you can only have one of these cards in because it will take the leftmost fame card. On my Centurion, I have a Jessica, just attack plus. And after casting a mass, mass ultimate, it inflicts poison on all of the enemies. This card is also not that important, but it does passive damage to the main chick. And at the end, it does Genesis damage equal to attack plus 30%, which is pretty cool. Night Vessel on her. After taking action, increase the left mo character damage. This is also to funnel as much DPS as you can into your main damage dealer. So in this case, this also buffs Beacorn. <clears throat> and on my Tooth Fairy, I just have her one. We're landing a critical hit while using a heal incantation, the critical portion of the heal increases by an additional 100%. Also, in my opinion, not needed, can be switched out with anything. As you can see, it is the theme here. This U230 is really, really a lot easier than the previous one. And also this, because she heals, I heal almost every round with her. I also do, taking action increases the leftmost character damage dealt by 3%. So it more or less funnels that into that. So, you know, only have one of each. Now, this card, I think, is more or less a bait. Depending on how you look at it. Uh, in certain cases, it might be good because you also funnel Moxie into the leftmost character. However, if she has, if my Beacorn, for example, has 9 Moxie, uh, 4 Moxie, and I use one ability on her so that at the start of the next round, she is going to gain one Moxie. She is not going to gain the ultimate on that round, so you got to wait one more round for her to use the ultimate. So that's more or less it. We can see how I did it. You guys will be able to see it. 
so as you can see I just use the debuffs buffs and then I start funneling the attack buffs and critical buffs on Beakborn. Also every round I use heal just to keep my people at 100% because she can one hit if you're not careful enough. I more or less just ignore the three mobs here. See this move can sometimes... there we go. So she's buffed up a little bit. I always heal. Always buff when I'm not buffed. Attack, debuff and attack again. There we go, more or less the same way, you always see me, I didn't heal here because I had full HP, but I did debuff, and I did use the ultimate on her, to get the buffs as well, ultimate on the, to on the tooth fairy, simple, just because it was up, I used it, why not, you know, and then you're gonna see right now, I didn't want to use the ultimate right away, I wanted her to stack a few more of the attack buffs, that's why I didn't use the ultimate and then the attack buffs. So, you know, you see, the ultimate does a lot of damage if you do. If, for example, I switched Beacorn with Centurion, she would do multi-damage, but multi-damage is really not that needed because they always take one damage. So I always use heal. Buffed my characters, attack, and then use the ulti. It didn't do that much damage, but it's still good, I guess. Here we go. And we just continue with the healing, buffing, debuffing, and funneling everything into Beacorn. See? Easy game. There we go. And then Leah's good here because she does boost the damage, since she is stronger to Regulus. There we go. I moved the last card just so that I could have the ultimate next round. Also, probably not that needed, but it is what it is. But yeah, damage reduction would be good. Damage reduction cards and funneling attacks into your main carry, which is Beacorn in my scenario. There we go. 4.5k on each. 4500. Boom, easy game, and on the next turn I think I win this. So I have like 5 turns to go. I just use all my abilities, cause why not? She dies, I only have the little drones to deal with, but they self-destruct on the next phase, so it's whatever. I use the ultimate just cause it does multiple damage, so everyone gets one damage point. And now they self-destruct. I mean, later. This one doesn't self-destruct right now, but it is what it is. So yeah, this is how you clear it. Hopefully uh, it helped a few of you guys. Um, all of my units could be replaceable. You just need a single target DPS. And if you don't have Tooth Fairy, two healers and a support. And all of them funneling attack buffs to your main carry and that would be about it so yeah thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video peace